this video, we're going to talk about stacked data, coded data, and unstacking the data. Um, as you can see, for those who saw the last video, I've sort of shortened my um, table. Uh, I only have age and whether or not people are local. Um, but that being said, this is still stacked data because each row represents one person. So this is a 19 year old that is local versus a 21 year old that is not local. Okay. Now, before I talk about unstacked data, we're going to talk about coding data. So how coding data works is basically you take a categorical variable. So again, that's having words as answers and you basically have the response be one of the responses. So I would title this either yes or I title this no. So if I title this yes, what that means is that everywhere we see a yes, we'd have a one and everywhere I have a no, I'd put a zero. Okay, so the whole idea is for data entry, it might be easier just to type in ones and zeros, and we could also talk about what the total represents. If you actually totaled up this column, getting the answer of three represents three yeses. Okay, now you don't have to code it with the word yes up here. If you decided instead to code it with no, what would happen is that all the no responses would be ones and everything else would be zeros. Now the total of this is one, but that one doesn't represent yeses anymore. That one represents noes. Um, you'll see this done in examples in the book. It could be based on gender with male versus female. It could be based on majors, STEM versus non-STEM. Um, it could be um, whether you live in the dorm or are commuting. So the idea is, is that you have two options. And so whatever you title it with is what you number the ones and the opposite response would be the zeros. Okay. Now, let's talk about unstacked data. So what unstacked data is, if I go ahead and remove my coding for a second, what unstacked data is, is basically to take your two options that we have here. So our two options are local and not local. Or if you want, you could even title it yes and no. Okay, but the reason why I'm gonna title it local and not local is because I think it'll be a little bit more telling when we go to do this. So how you unstack data is you take your categorical variable and split it into the two responses, which is local and not local, or yes and no, if you'd prefer that. And then what we do is we write down the responses of everybody who said they were local. So the locals were a 19 year old, an 18 year old, and a 25 year old. Okay. My not local was a 21 year old. All right, so this is stack data, whereas this is unstack data. Now, the easiest way to tell if you have stack data or unstack data is to look at a row. Here, notice that this row is representing two people. If a row represents more than one person, then that means it's unstack data versus if each row just represents one person, then it's stacked data. All right, this should help you with the first part of your homework.